I think um, letting them know and checking in on people specifically that you see are struggling or you notice, I think just breaking that boundary of saying like, you know, what's going on? Is there anything I can help you with specifically? Because some people are just shy and they just don't want to be the first one to say it or they don't know what your expectations are. So just letting us know like, yes, I see that you're struggling or, you know, what's going on? Is there a way I can help, you know, if you can? To help students feel comfortable reaching out to, for support, um, I would really encourage faculty members to think about uh, where they were when they were a student, 18-year-old sitting in a college classroom for the first time looking up at their professor who has a wealth of knowledge and is in a leadership position um, in the classroom and how scary that might be <laughs> to go up and ask them a question that might seem small as to the student but they really want to know it. Um, and so I think letting your students know that you are personable, you care about what they want to know, and that you're there to support them uh, from day one um, is really key. I think something that the faculty can do to make sure they're more approachable to students is to go to the student-led events. I think faculty needs to be there. I think administrators need to be there. Come to our SGA meetings, come to our Pride meetings, come to our United Nations chapter meetings. Get involved, let them know that, hey, you're not just here to, to, um, to read a lecture or to read from a slide. You're here to support them in the whole student, not just one aspect or one tiny variable of the student. To help students feel comfortable reaching out to faculty for support, I think it's important for the faculty to be as genuine as possible. You don't have to be really nice or uh, too professional. I feel like being a, a normal human being is very inviting to a student and helps them instill trust in you. I think it's important for a professor to tell the class that they understand that as community college students, we are many times not traditional and that we do have a different lifestyle than many. Um, something I would say is that you, professors can say that in class. If they have issues, if, they have, if they're going through whatever uh, it is, they can either seek the wellness center or that they can talk to the professor alone in their office hours. I think that's important for a student to know because then you won't have to guess if sending that email to them is gonna work or not. I think uh, establishing that uh, communication in the beginning of the semester is important for a student to know that that professor is going to understand if you know, like you had to work extra hours, if you're going through a rough time, if your family's having issues. Um, I think that would be very important to do. I think it's important for a professor to tell the class that they understand that as community college students, we are many times not traditional and that we do have a different lifestyle than many. Um, something I would say is that you, professors can say that in class. If they have issues, if, they have, if they're going through whatever uh, it is, they can either seek the wellness center or that they can talk to the professor alone in their office hours. I think that's important for a student to know because then you won't have to guess if sending that email to them is gonna work or not. I think uh, establishing that c uh, communication in the beginning of the semester is important for a student to know that that professor is going to understand if you know, like you had to work extra hours, if you're going through a rough time, if your family's having issues. Um, I think that would be very important to do. Something I know is that um, when faculty get new students and their younger students is they because they're transi transitioning from high school. Um, I know the importance of want to make sure that you're on top of everything and that you set boundaries and and be effective in teaching, but don't scare them off because <laughs> sometimes it could occur or don't make them too nervous where they are bunched up and don't want to come to you for advice or help in their classes. I think the the professors that have stood out to me the most have been the ones that are genuine, that they show in class that they're human too, that they understand that's what a college student goes through.